Keyboard shortcuts, you either use them or you don't. Some people don't even know what they are. But I'm sure at some stage in your life you all would have pressed Ctrl Alt Delete when all else failed within Windows. But why not use Ctrl Alt for something useful? Why not type in Ctrl Alt W to check out the weather for today? Or even Ctrl Alt G to launch Google Chrome if you use it? Ctrl Alt E for Microsoft Edge? The possibilities are endless. And today I'm going to show you how to create your own shortcut, not just for Windows apps, but also for traditional desktop programs. And best of all, it doesn't require any third party installation and it's all built in within Windows. Let's get started. Creating a keyboard shortcut is relatively easy. There may be some slight variations depending on your version of Windows, but it will all be covered in this video. Clicking on the Start menu, I will begin my task by selecting the Weather app which should be installed by default on all Windows 10 PCs. The first step is to create a desktop shortcut to the Weather app, and this can be simply achieved by dragging and dropping the app on the desktop screen to create the shortcut. Should you happen to have an older version of Windows however and you're unable to create a direct link to the desktop screen, you can pin it to the start menu by dropping the icon in an empty part of the start screen. Alternatively, you can right click on the app itself and select pin to start. You can now drag and drop the pinned app to the desktop to create the shortcut. Once the shortcut has been created, Go ahead and right click on the icon and select Properties. In the Shortcut tab, under Shortcut Key, select any letter on the keyboard to assign the shortcut. I will choose W for Weather and then click OK. At this stage, pressing Ctrl Alt W will indeed launch the Weather app and I can be grateful for the perfect 27 degrees we're currently having in Sydney. So at this stage you may be thinking, what's the purpose of making a keyboard shortcut when you can simply double click on the icon, right? Well, if you're a minimalist like me and don't like clutter on the desktop, you can actually hide those icons from the desktop so you can have a clear wallpaper and then still use the keyboard shortcut to launch the application. As you can see here, if you right click on an empty area on the desktop, and then select view and then go down to show desktop icons and untick that box you will be able to clear all those icons from the desktop and then select Control alt w to still launch the weather app how cool is that nice and clean creating a desktop shortcut for a traditional program is basically the same if you're running a newer version of windows I will be using Microsoft Excel to simply drag it and drop it onto the desktop to create the shortcut. If you're running an older version of Windows however, you will need to right click on the program's icon, select more and then select open file location. This will point you into the folder location of the program where you can simply right click, select send to and then select desktop create shortcut in order to create the shortcut. At this stage the procedure is the same as before. Right click on the icon, select properties, assign a letter in the shortcut pane, I will assign E for Excel and then click OK. Selecting Ctrl Alt E on the keyboard will now launch Microsoft Excel all on its own. Here's a little bonus tip. You know those icons you may have on the taskbar? Well, they're actually numbered by Windows. So if I press the Windows logo and one, it will launch the first program on the list, which is Microsoft Edge. And then if I press Windows logo two, then it'll launch the second program, which is my Explorer, and the list goes on. For alternative tech report 